In this video, I'll show you how you can draw a nice horizontal line. I'm Paul Wilson, and I make videos about e-learning, specifically the authoring tool Adobe Captivate. If you like what I'm doing here today, by all means like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with all of your e-learning friends. I got a message from one of the viewers of my YouTube channel. They wrote, is there a way to remove white space around images? I'm trying to use an orange line as a spacer to set the title off from the text. My graphic is only about four pixels high, and I only want the line in my image box. No white space. Captivate insists on putting a huge amount of white space above and below the line, and I cannot drag the handles any further than maybe 100 pixels. Is there any way to eliminate this? In Classic, I would have just drawn a line. I feel the same way. In Classic, I would have drawn a line as well. Very simple to do. And we may get that capability back at some point in a future version of Adobe Captivate. At the time of this recording, I'm using 12.6. Let me show you how I would do it. Okay, so I've got Adobe Captivate running here, and I'm going to need actually two paragraph blocks. So I'm going to click on the Add Text block here and select Paragraph, and I'm going to do it one more time. In this case here, the first text block is going to have the title, and I'm going to deselect the body component for it. And in the second block, we're going to deselect the title component. So essentially, we have what a normal paragraph would have with the title and the body text, but as two separate blocks. Now with our second block still selected, I'm going to select the card component. Now stay with me here for a bit. This is a little bit different than maybe what you're expecting, but I'm going to use the card to create the line between my title and my body text. Let's scroll down to card. The first thing I want to do is set my corner radius to be zero because I don't want any rounded corners here. I don't actually need a solid fill for this card, so I will deselect that. And I will also deselect the drop shadow. You can just barely make it out there. I don't need that as well. So I've essentially made the card completely transparent. But what I'm going to do now is turn on the border component of the card and you'll see that we now have a gray outline that happens to be eight pixels wide. Now, the viewer of my YouTube channel mentioned that they were looking for a four pixel wide image. So I'm gonna change that eight to four, make it a little thinner. And one of the features of Adobe Captivate is that you don't have to have a solid border that goes around the entire card. You can actually select any one or two or three sides, or all four of course, and just have that one, in this case, top line here. So I'll go ahead and select that. And now you see I've got a nice horizontal line, which is really just the top portion of a card. And I think the original viewer also was mentioning that their image was an orange line. So let's make that change as well. They can use the more advanced color picker if they have an actual hex code or RGB code, but I'm just going to choose one of the default orange colors here. Now, the space between the title uh, in the first block and the body in the second block is a little wide, so we are going to adjust that. I'm going to select the top block. We'll go into alignment and spacing here, and I'm going to select auto layout first so that this will carry through to my tablet and mobile view. And I'm going to set the bottom padding to be 10 pixels. Similarly, I'm going to select the second block now. Again, choose Auto Layout so this cascades to your other views. But I'm going to choose the top padding and set that to be 10 pixels. So now you can see I've got a horizontal line. It's orange and it separates my title and my body text quite nicely. Let's preview it and see how it looks on the other views. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's see what it looks like on a tablet. Nice. And on the mobile view, 
also nice. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.